Good morning. I just wanted to give you an update. We do have a date for the shower remodel. It's going to happen next Thursday and Friday, uh, May 4th and 5th. I wanted to give you a before shot. Um, let me do that real quick. It's rather tiny. Um, and I have to climb in over the over the tub there and you see we have a grab bar. But next Thursday and Friday, that's all changing. I'm actually walking. and uh, walking out to my power chair. And uh, I get pretty winded when I do that very often. Um, now I'm heading back to the living room. Maybe I should show you a few other things. Um, you might be interested in. This is the back side of my breathing machine. And uh, we have it set up next to the recliner. If I can get through this narrow passageway without crashing. Um, Things aren't as clean as uh, I like, but uh, I don't have the strength to clean like I used to. And you kind of have to just um, accept what you can do and be thankful for what others can do for you. And, and uh, that's where I'm at. Um, I want to grab my Bible <clears throat> and read. Sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't get better set up for this. It was kind of a spur of the moment decision to uh, do this video. The other psalm I wanted to read for you that just shows how involved the Lord is in our lives is Psalm 139. I uh, memorized it several years ago, but um, I haven't been practicing, practicing like I should, and so I'm going to read it because I will forget. Just listen to the words and listen to how intimately involved the Lord is in our lives. O oh Lord, you hast searched me and known me. Thou dost know when I sit down and when I rise up. Thou dost understand my thought from afar. Thou dost scrutinize my path and my lying down, and art intimately acquainted with all my ways. That can be reassuring, or that can be disconcerting if we're not following the Lord. Having him know everything about us can hopefully put the fear of him in us so that we will... Uh, repent and trust Christ and walk close to him. And then this will be an assurance and a comfort. And here's more. Even before there was a word on my tongue, behold, O Lord, thou dost know it all. Thou hast, oh, I love this. This is my favorite part. 
Thou hast enclosed me behind and before, and laid thy hand upon me. Okay, I'm going to try to get through this rest of it. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is too high, I cannot attain to it. David is saying here that the thought of the Lord having him covered so well just blows his mind and it's kind of incomprehensible. Where can I go from thy spirit? Or where can I flee from thy presence? If I ascend to heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in Sheol, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I dwell in the remotest part of the sea, even there thy hand will lead me, and thy right hand will lay hold of me. Excuse me, I'm going to grab a tissue. If I say, surely the darkness will overwhelm me, and the light around me will be night, even the darkness is not dark to thee, and the night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light are alike to thee. And here's the part that tells you how babies in the womb are so special. For thou dost form my inward parts, thou dost weave me in my mother's womb. I will give thanks to thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are thy works, and my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from thee when I was made in secret and skillful, skillfully wrought in the depths of the earth. I think the correct term is metaphor. The earth is a metaphor for his mother's womb. Thine eyes have seen my unformed substance, and in thy book they were written all, all the days that were ordained for me, when as yet there was not one of them. The Lord has our lives planned out. He knows the day we're going to be born. He knows the day we will die. <clears throat> Even before it all happened. Here's another uh, favorite part of mine. Verse 17. How precious also are thy thoughts. I'm going to have trouble getting through this. To me, O oh God, how vast, <laughs> how vast is the sum of them. If I should count them, they would outnumber the sand. And when I awake, I'm still with thee. The Lord has us constantly <clears throat> on his mind. I hope that brings you great comfort. Have a great day.